China has opened its annual National People's Congress, also known as the NPC. Outgoing Premier Li Keqiang started the session with what would be his final government work report before he steps down. His address focused on a host of topics ranging from strengthening the nation's armed forces to prioritizing economic stability after China's exit from its strict zero-COVID policy. Mr. Li, though, noted that many difficulties and challenges still lie ahead. Zhe and for more, Olivia Xiong joins us live now from Beijing. Now, Oli, this is Li Keqiang's last work report to the NPC before he hands the reins over to his successor, Li Qiang. What was the tone like? Well, this was a speech that was quite unlike the other speeches that Chinese Premier Li Keqiang has given in the last 10 years um, as Premier. Uh, overall, you would say that the bulk of his speech this time round was focused very much on the past and the achievements of the government in the last year instead of on the future. Um, perhaps mindful that this is the end of his two terms as the head of uh, China's government as he steps down um, to hand over the reins to uh, the Communist Party's now second rank official, Li Qiang. Um, Mr. Li, the outgoing Mr. Li, received a long round of applause as he took to the podium to give his speech, also as he concluded his speech, which was just a short uh, one hour long uh, remarks. Nothing sentimental from him, but Mr. Li described the past five years as being truly momentous and remarkable. And in his evaluation of the past year, he said that China's economy was impacted by COVID-19 as well as by domestic and international factors beyond expectations. However, he did say that China was able to maintain an overall stable economic performance and that after more than three years, he also said that uh, China had uh, achieved a major and decisive victory over COVID-19. Team, noting that, uh, you know, this is the first time that these political meetings are taking place since China changed course from its strict zero COVID policy as well. Um, but Mr. Lee made clear that the task ahead still remains important and he said the priority for this year is economic stability and that he said would be a task for the new uh, central government leadership in which he called to make relentless efforts in their work involving economic and social development. Mm. Angie? Now, Ali, as you speak about economic stability being a focus, the most noteworthy here is the cautious around 5% GDP target for this year. And that's one of the lowest projections in decades. What does this mean for the country? Well, Angie, it would be a pretty clear sign that China is well aware of the challenges that it faces ahead, even as it tries to put the COVID-19 pandemic behind it. Uh, this year, as you mentioned, uh, Premier Li announcing that China would target uh, economic growth of around 5%. It is on the modest side of what had been forecasted uh, by many economists. Some reports had suggested that China would set a target of around uh, 6%, but that was not meant to to be. Uh, we do know that China's GDP grew by just 3% last year, missing uh, its growth target for last year of around 5.5%. Um, recognizing the challenges ahead, uh, Premier Li said in his speech that there were uncertainties in the external environment and that these are on the rise and that the global economic and trade growth is losing steam. And without naming any countries, he also alluded to some of the geopolitical tensions that China is facing, perhaps with the US saying that external attempts to suppress and contain China are escalating as well. So moving forward to this end, he outlined broad plans, not many specifics, but he said that their focus will be on expanding domestic consumption, also creating 12 million urban jobs. That's up from 11 million jobs last year. Although some economists say this number may be low, considering the 11.5 million graduates that are expected to come into the job market this 
this year. There was also recognition of other risks that Mr. Lee said need to be prevented and diffused, this including uh, in the troubled real estate sector, in the financial system, as well as with local government debt. So pretty much a lot more on the cards and we were expecting to hear uh, the government ministries flash out the details as these political meetings continue in the week to come.